When we think of Christian history, most of us think of the story that moves westward. We think of new believers moving to Rome after Pentecost, Paul and his team traveling through Macedonia and Greece, and in time, the gospel moving through Europe and onto the Western Hemisphere. Yet there is another part of the story. It is the tale of the gospel moving east. On that same day of Pentecost in about 33 AD, there were also new believers that returned eastward. The New Testament tells us about visitors from Asia, Arabia, and Mesopotamia, the Parthians, Medes, and Elamites. All of these visitors returned home with the gospel of Jesus Christ. In time, some of Jesus' disciples also went east. Thomas went into what we now call India. Andrew went into the regions around the Black Sea. And Bartholomew went into the Indus Valley of present-day Pakistan. They confronted pagan strongholds, planted churches, and left a unique Christian culture in the east. The next generations took the gospel to the regions of Yemen, Sri Lanka, and Mongolia. They evangelized cities like Basra, Mosul, and Tikrit, cities that make the world news even today. Oasis towns along the Silk Road stretching all the way to China, cities like Kabul, Bukhara, and Kandahar became bases for Christian thought and culture. Although small church populations remained in Iraq, Pakistan, and India, the rest of Central Asia became almost entirely Muslim. The Eastern Christians that remained lived in captivity. They were subject to heavy taxes and were prohibited from sharing the gospel. Churches survived, but barely. Over 2,000 years ago, the man known as Jesus of Nazareth was born in the small town of Bethlehem in the land of Judea. His extraordinary life, brutal execution, and miraculous resurrection from the dead attest to the truth of his claim to be the only Son of God. This is the story of how Jesus, through the lives of his faithful followers, has become known around the world, impacting all of human history from the first century until today. This is Drive Through History, Ends of the Earth.